All right, friends, we're into RimWorld. Uh, we're back, uh, and all of my Hollow Knight setup is still here, so let me change that really quickly. Uh, hey, it's RimWorld time. Uh, we're going to be here for a couple hours today, just kind of checking out uh, our colony and making progress and etc. If you have never been here for this specific playthrough of RimWorld, this time that we're playing it, uh, we have one mod that I should actually turn on real quick. Let me do that real quick. Uh, one mod that we should turn on called Twitch Chat. Which just means if you type messages in the chat, you have a chance to have a character named after you or an animal or anything. Um, let me test, make sure that it is working. Test, test, test. Not test, test. Test, it worked. Uh, okay. So, uh, if you type in the chat, you have a, a character named after you, or at least you will eventually. Um, that's how it works. Uh, Hey, let's meet our colonists. Let's meet our contestants. Starting at the top, we have Fractal Hack. Uh, Rebs is probably not gonna, it, not gonna, uh, what's the word? Recognize any of this because RimWorld has changed a lot with the DLCs since we last played it. Uh, Fractal Hack is a tech person, specifically a robot person. Fractal Hack has seven different robots who answer to uh, uh, Fractal Hack's whims and desires, and he controls them all with his brain. Uh, those robots are Kenny, Public, Glyph, Pluvio, Squirmonkey, Jiridine, and they're all uh, super useful, definitely human members of our colony. Hans is our uh, cooker. Hans is also our... Uh, he's incapable of caring. He's a butcher. Uh, he's incapable of caring, but he's our warden, which is kind of weird. Just realizing. Um... That's Hans. Also, he's like in charge of our religion, I think. Our religion means that we love smoking weeds and we like worshiping turtles. And that's basically it. Welcome to Tony. Tony, the shipwright, is uh, our builder. What's Tony do again? Tony's our crafter. And he's also an intellectual who is uh, a chemically fascinated, a wimp, and delicate. Jab. Uh, on the other uh, on the other hand, Queen Jabberwocky is our researcher and our miner. Uh, likes to dig stuff out of the dirt. And this is our colony. Welcome to... I literally have to look up the name every single time because I never remember the name of it. Uh, where is the name of the cult? How do I find it? Yeah, how do I even find the name of our cult? There's got to be a way, right? Got to be an easier way than this. There's got to be a way. Check the name in the world map. All right, we'll go here. Uh, Cult of the Weed Bots 420 Blaze. It literally won't fit on the screen. Cult of the Weed Bots 420 Blaze. It 69 Squirrels Mech Overlords. That's us. Gabs. Uh, all right, what do we have to do today? Well, we have. Oh, I forgot two people. We also have a couple prisoners. Those are Brujo and Marzalian. Brujo is technically a wild person so they are a person a, a human body however they believe themselves to be an animal or they act like an animal Mars is a slaughterer that's right just slaughter stuff that's it is my good breeder still alive that's the other thing is that we have a million animals Matt is a good breeder strawberry is Matt's uh, husband Boyd and Joyce are the kids and then there's a million other animals too uh, I don't think we have any unnamed animals at this moment so Rebecca will not have a uh an animal just yet. Also, Megan attacked us once and she died. And look, there's there's this. Is my Ibex still alive? Is my Great Breeder still alive? Yeah, is my ballsless Ibex still alive? Oops, that's funny. Uh, yeah, Joyce, we did type chop off your balls last last stream. Let's go. I'm canonically a furry. I love that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we want to do today? Well. Mechanoid needs repair. Fractal Hag needs to repair a... Oh my god, you're too busy cleaning vomit? You need to clean some vomit. Cat, we are two days away from being on this rim world for exactly one year. One year! Uh, so... I want to celebrate that. I was thinking, uh, while I was in the shower right before we started stream... Or, uh, uh right after I ran earlier. Before we started stream. I want to do something to celebrate one year. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe we build a nature shrine. I want to build something... To celebrate this colony being here for 365 days, except for the fact that it's not actually 365 days. Uh, 
What should we build? What is the... Oh, we could do a bong. We could sacrifice somebody. Rebs, you've been here for five minutes. Oh, Rebs is just trying to get her name in the uh, in the pot of new people. That's what it is. Rebs is like, we've got too many people. None of them are named me. So we must sacrifice them all. What is a building I can build to, to celebrate a year? Hmm. You know what? I've decided. I've decided. This is a good idea. If you survive one year in this colony, if, if the colony survives one year, we get to celebrate and we get to splurge. This is a, a, a treat yourself kind of moment. We're going to build a fancy, nice armchair. A fancy, nice armchair in our kitchen. Does that make sense? No. No, it doesn't. I'm going to build one anyways. Let's, uh... Let's take the uh, dining chair, get it out of here, and we'll build an armchair to celebrate one year. Do I have enough cloth? No, I don't. Space is already occupied. Whatever, we'll fix it later. You don't even have the resources? Oh, but we shall. Do robots have a vote? Literally, no. No, you don't. Oh. Build a 420 shrine. I do really want a uh, uh, 420 shrine. I do really want to build a uh, an auto bong at some point today. So we're all gonna take turns sitting on it uh, or stack on top of each other. We have two days to get the necessary cloth to build this thing. All right, we're building new beds, new rooms, um, new rooms. These are going to be our two. Nice. Uh, bedrooms. Try growing your own crops, you punk. Uh, I don't have to because my robots listen to me without any thoughts of rebelling. They do whatever I say. Hi, Big Skyrim Crab. How's it going? Hi, Lost, by the way. Uh, how are you? Um, Lost said, Rebs, did you play around with the Christmas stuff in Satisfactory? Good afternoon, Arena. Ryan, I accidentally learned something on RimWorld. Move around your map and hold shift. Oh my god. We're fast. Holy shit. That, that kind of stresses me out. Wow. Is there an opposite? Can we move slower? Nope. Alt just brings up the beauty. The room stats. Alt Interesting. I'm learning all kinds of things. I'm just hitting buttons. Tab brings up this menu. Learning all kinds of things. All right. All right. The other thing we could do is build an end table, which I think are supposedly uh, good for... Makes nearby beds a little bit more comfortable. Must be placed directly adjacent to the head of the bed. Placing more than one end table near the same bed has no effect. Okay. What if we reinstalled you there? What if we reinstalled you like there? What if we reinstalled you like there? End tables are pog. I'll be honest, I was just looking at Publix. Uh, I was just looking at Publix thing, and that's what led me to do it. Fuck you guys. You guys don't get one. You guys get one though, and Hans can get one, but we have to move this. Reinstall to there. <clears throat> Hi, Irina. I hope your day is going well. You didn't know that about the tab thing? No, I didn't know any of these things. Tab, shift. I'm learning all kinds of things right now. Alt. Crazy. Uh, I can build more shelves. Oh my god, we're going to have storage for days. This is the brewery. This seems bad. This seems fucked up. I probably shouldn't put that chair there, should I? I don't fucking know. Uh, you know what? We're gonna move it once I place it. I have a new idea for that. You can use a single end table for two beds. Right, but these guys are prisoners. They don't deserve beds. They don't deserve beds. These people have sinned by believing in, uh, in things other than us. 
<laughs> Fair enough. Sad wander. Fractal hack has broken down and is wandering around in sadness. The pro the, the, does this fuck up my mechs? I think this does fuck up my mechs. It just means I can't draft them. Fractal hack. Homie, we got to work on your happiness here. All right, what's going to be our project for today? First off, we're going to convert one of these two motherfuckers. Either Mars or Brujo. Mars should be very easy. Uh, we also should probably make both Hans and Recreation Deprived. Fuck. Uh, and Fractal Hack more happy. We can now build uh, Coco, right? We just haven't actually... Uh, we haven't actually done it. Let's do some Coco trees. This is going to be our cocoa tree plant uh, 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 field. We desperately need cocoa. Uh, we have a new Militor. The Giridine, we're going to have a new robot here in just a second. So that's fun. Um, Lost said, until the AI takes over, then the robots become your overlords. And I know that was in jest. I am a little bit scared. If Fractal Hack dies or revolts or something, we're gonna be without our without our robots until we fit until we fix it. I think we might need to make uh, Fractal Hack live forever. And I don't think we have the research for that just yet, but I am working on it. Hi Hudson, have you ever played Timberborn? I've never heard of that game actually. I don't know what that is. Call Me Glyph has created a wooden end table masterwork. Fantastic. Let's take it out of that room. Oh, shoot. And reinstall it here. For Hans, who is jealous. Fantastic. Probably need to chop down some more trees, too. Timberborn. No, I don't know it. I, I don't even I don't even recognize uh I don't even recognize it. What can we do for for Fractal Hack? I gotta think about this. High life missing. You should smoke more. Don't I have you set to smoke? I have everyone in this thing set to smoke twice per day. Are we out of smoke leaf? No, we're there's a there's a blunt right there. Okay, I'll figure that out later. Slept in the cold. We need some heaters. Good news, you got one. Uh, what else? Eight without a table. Hungry, drowsy. I feel like the big thing is that you tried to get with Hans, and Hans said, no, I'm not interested. Timberborn is a colony management sim with beavers. I have to look this up. Timberborn. Oh, I have caps lock on. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, it says... Humans are long gone. Will your lumberjack be lumber punk beavers do any better? A city-building game featuring ingenious animal animals, vertical architecture, river control, dam and water physics, timberborn. This looks kind of neat. I am less into city builders, but if this is more colony than city, uh, and it, I mean, it looks like lots of farming. This seems very cool. When did this come out? Joyce says I'm 2021. Holy shit. Huh. Huh. All right. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Joyce says, I'm giving off big. Why is no one here having a good time? I specifically requested it. Energy? I'm just saying, do better. Have more fun. Recreation deprived is a big part of it. All right. Um, right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hans can do something to like make people happy, right? Council cancels the effect of a sad memory. And preach health. Can we do a ritual? Public execution. I literally can do that. The Stone Fiesta. Uh, 
What is our chances of a stone fiesta doing well? 41% quality? I would say the odds are good. We do need a light ball. What does it take to build a light ball? One, 30 steel, one component? I mean... Reminder chat, this is a front seat game. Uh, should I build a light ball? This is a fully front seat game. Front seat me anytime you want. Hudson says, uh, oops, never mind. I already read that comment. Uh, build two balls? <laughs> hmm. I feel like if we do a light ball in here, this room becomes not Hans's bedroom and just becomes a place where we have fun. Okay, though. Um, let's go for it. Fuck it. Why not? Let's experiment. Let's experiment. Should copy settings, paste settings here. Copy settings, paste settings. We should copy settings from like here. Paste settings to all of these, which is the J button. Because I have fucked that up in the past. All right. If you want to do the party, sure. If it's a bad party, the colonists will get a mood debuff. However, ignoring parties doesn't affect them. I feel like we should do more parties in our current Coco less life style. You know? Waste pack infestation. I don't know what that means. What the fuck? What does that mean? A group of burrowed insect stasis cocoons have picked up the scent of a recently dissolved toxic waste pack. They're tunneling upwards to get to the chemicals. Cocoon no, this is the thing that happened in the upper in the bottom left. Cocoons will emerge in a dormant state. They will remain dormant indefinitely. Is this the same one? No. There it is. Fuck. All right, so we did this down here. Fuck. Okay. So we're just going to keep kicking this can down the road. Chat, this is... Uh, we're going to keep kicking this can down the road. Toxic waste pack, now they go over here. What do you know? What's going to happen here is raiders are going to run into these things 100%. Delete this uh, 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 copy settings. That was not a cool sound in my ears. No, not a good, not a good sound for sure. Pop this over here. And then we delete this shit and we make sure nobody goes here ever. Delete. I'm sure this will eventually be fine. Everyone goes no insects. And no insects goes... Uh, uh, I need to manage it. Like here. Um, expand allowed area. No insect. Wait, wait, wait. Clear allowed area. No insects. Not allowed to go to the air. How did I do? Did pretty well. It'll be fine. Sure to be fine, right? Uh, Ryan, you can link the settings of multiple shelves. I can just link them. Oh, so every one of them selected will be linked. Every one of these will be... So first off, copy. I think I already did these. Paste. Then every one of these... Oh, this is huge. I wondered what that button did. Let's go. Average public policymaker. Let's keep kicking that can down the road. Kicking it. Timbermorn is amazing. It's about resource management and keeping your beavers happy and healthy. You should check it out in the future. I love that. Put your waste packs in a freezer. Then when you have a lot of them, have a caravan take them to another tile and dump them. Okay. So does a freezer stop them? Oh, is it that simple? A freezer stops them from deteriorating? Cut 
compacted package of toxic waste slowly dissolves if not frozen. Surface is heat sealed. But if if we if the power goes out, if the power goes out, we're in trouble, right? So what if we build ourselves a freezer? What if this becomes its own power little miniature colony right here? What if? Right, but it will it will it will start spreading tox toxicity, right? Okay, front seat me, front seat me, daddy. Um, I just called Jeff daddy. Sorry, Jeff. Unless you were into it, in which case you're welcome. Question mark. Meg's not listening to stream anymore, is she? Um, do I do a separate freezer off in the corner of the map, or do I use our freezer? Oh, I am here. Oh, hi, Meg. Oops. Caught in 4K, by the way. Oh. Uh. RimWorld keeps bringing out the worst of me. Last time I called Matt breedable. Matt is not pregnant right now, which is great. I could imagine. Here's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's going to lurk. I love it. Maybe. Thank you. Uh, here's what I'm thinking. On the one hand, if we freeze stuff here, as long as the power stays on, no toxicity, uh, uh, no pollution happens. When the power goes off, we start to get a little pollution. Maybe we put like one, one, I use a separate freezer for mine. Okay. We put like one pollution pump. No, 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 no. Wait, pollution pumps makes toxic waste pad. Okay. I'm kind of thinking one little... But if I put it out here, I feel like they're going... Like, if I put it out here, somebody's going to attack it. Yeah? Ah, oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. I do not know what to do here. All right, we'll do it here. Uh, here's an idea. We'll do it over here. Structure, what do I have the most of? Sandstone? Structure, this is a good idea. Uh, this is, it's making me think here. So, sandstone here. Let's do, it doesn't need to be huge. Six by six would probably be, five, uh, that'd be four by four of actual space. Uh, we'll break, we'll put a door here. We will store toxic waste packs only inside of here. And make it high priority. And it is no corpses, no chunks, only toxic waste packs. And it's the only place they can go. And then we will chuck a freezer in here. And it can still be connected to our power. And then that should work. Reb says, last time I was your wife or something. Is that true? I didn't know that I was a character. Maybe. I just remember raising Megan from the dead because we worshipped her. Rebs, you want to get married? First, we have to make you a colonist. Try double walls. Okay, okay. So, but how does that work with the cooler? Hold up. Let me look at a... Uh, let me look at a... Uh... At Publix Colony in the Discord. At this point, I'm literally just cheating. Uh... <clears throat> Screenshot... Is the double walls for insulation? Oh shit, I don't know what I just did.
Helps to keep the heat out? Okay, we'll do it. Don't know if I should put some right here. We'll try it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right. Fractal Hack is going to get us this new uh, chat. We're going to get a new robot right now. If you would like to be a robot, I would start typing in the chat. I would start typing now. If you'd like to be a named robot. Uh, Hey, welcome to... Matt, Matt, you're already a character. Uh, I might repick you. Matt, do you want to be your Ibex Ram or do you want to be the. Nah, I'm going to repick. Hey, Rebs, congratulations. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, now you're a robot. You are specifically a. Uh, a robot who likes to. Uh, you're a Militor, which means you are equipped with a mini shotgun. Uh, if you would like to type something in the chat like I am robot, that would work perfectly. Let's see. I am robot. I attack shit. Uh, you and Jiradine are the protectors of our colony. All right, so you are part of group two, who is re recharged constantly. Good stuff. We need a new research project because sterile tiles is done, which means we should sterile tile our research place. And then I think we should do work towards uh, gun turrets, which takes smithing. I will shotgun people in face. Perfect. Mr. Destructoid, welcome to the family. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, your life is kind of boring until, until we actually uh, get attacked, but... Oh my god, sterile tile costs so much. Holy shit. I can be a robot when the Ibex dies. I love it. Wait, 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 wait. The, the Ibex is not dying? No chance. No chance. Never. What do you mean? All right, so here's my next question. My next debate. What do we do with the sterile tile? Sterile tile increases the outcomes in hospital and research labs. I wonder how much of the I wonder how much of this place we have to floor with sterile tile in order for the speed benefit. Does anyone know? Room cleanliness is 97%. So it's just how it affects the room cleanliness, I think. The bad temperature in here currently? How hot what what is it? Cold? Cold. Well, fuck off, buddy. Come on. Uh, we'll put a vent. I don't exactly understand how vents work, but if I put one there, that should work, yeah? Fuck it. Hi, Skyrim Crab. Have a great rest of your day. May I add beep boop? Beep boop. Uh, Mars, get converted, motherfucker. Mars is so close to being converted, which means we really need this next bed done. So we're going to need granite flooring. Granite tile, I mean. Granite tile. For Mars's bed. Um... Okay, get Mars out of there. Sure. Hold the door open to help with uh, temperature. Ooh, smart idea. This 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 door smart. Hmm. I wonder how much of this cleanliness is actually needed in order to make this thing better. Cleanliness ninety seven. Final values ninety seven. Okay. That seems very clean, and we even have a dirt floor. Let's put a little bit of... Oh, it's so much, though. This is the same thing, right? Like, the kitchen is also... No, that one does not say anything about work speed factor being affected by cleanliness. Hmm. Hmm. What's Jab's role? Jab is a miner. Uh... 
Jab mines us a bunch of materials and also does a lot of research. So, like, all this stuff is ours. Um, we need to go pick it up because it's kind of just sitting out there. That's because we're doing a lot of research, which is nice. I'll give a couple mining jobs real quick. Hans, why are you in such a shit mood, dude? Recreation starved? Can I get you to go drink some beer, smoke some weed? We're out of beer, I think, unfortunately. Play some chess? We do have a light ball, which means we can do the uh, stone fiesta. Mars is sleeping and uh, also a prisoner. Okay. Wait, why can't I start it here? Wait, does it not have power? No powered speaker? It needs a speaker as well? Oh my god. Do animals not die of old age? I think you'll die of something eventually, yeah. Unless I can make you, uh... Unless I can make you not. Try making a super tiny research room? I could. And just, like, close it off here. Make this a little hallway. What if we did that? A crazy idea. I don't have limestone to do it, I think. That's an insane thing to do, right? A, a hypothetically very dumb thing to do. On the other hand, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I want to see how this works. Daryl tile, done. Don't have enough steel. There's plenty of steel up top. Getting shot by a radar a raider is more common. True. All right. Hans, how do we improve your mood more? High life is missing? Well, fantastic. Go smoke some weed. I can make you do that at least. Uh, ratty apparel, minor pain. It's getting warm enough outside. We might be able to go without uh, the last like day of winter. Recreation starved is just so fucking bad. I have to build speakers around this, uh, around this thing, which is crazy to me. A loudspeaker. God damn it. This room is just shit right now. It's just so much going on. But it's our nicest room. All right, we'll just delete that one. This one is only medicine. Uh, hmm. What do the robots do? Not the actual robotic person, but the robots? Uh, yeah, they grow all of our crops. They pre uh, uh, they prevent all attacks and they or they help us during all attacks and they uh, haul everything. That's it. That's what they do. All of the like actual work here, basically. How about mutiny? No. In fact, those who speak of mutiny get renamed. All right, so we're taking new names for a robot. Uh. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> Reps has decided, uh, <laughs> decided they no longer want to be a part of the robot family. So, uh, let's see here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll keep, we'll keep Rebs the same. I do want to build our first, uh, our first armchair now. A cloth armchair. It's the, the real sign of a, uh, this building is so fucking... <laughs> this building is so fucking... Reinstall this here, I guess. And I guess we'll cancel that. Reinstall this here. This building is annoying the crap out of me. Reinstall that here. Reinstall this here. 
Fruha says, this is so cozy. I've got coffee, it's overcast, and I'm cozy. Hi, Ming. How's it going? Praise be to our human overlord. That's more like it. That's more like it. And then it's, okay, Rebecca, you found a, a, a way to, a, a chance to prove yourself. A group of Neanderthals from Kilfweg Union have arrived nearby. They'll prepare for a while. Spider? These guys are going to get renamed here in just a second. Yep. Streamlabs, Jeff, and Mink have decided to attack us. Protect and serve? Oh, Rebecca. Now you're speaking my language. Let me plow their ass. <laughs> Wait a second. Protect and serve and let me plow our uh let me plow their ass. Two different uh responses here. Alright. Yeah, I've just reached intellectual level uh 14, by the way. So we're just kind of waiting on them to attack, and the minute they will, I will draft everybody. And or I'll just do it now, because I think it's time. Uh everybody go outside. Max go to work. Nope, to escort. Nope. Escort. Escort. And away we go. All right. Let's uh, use our... Uh, our... terrain to our advantage here. Jab's got a bow, which is not great. Tony's got a club. So Tony's going to hang back a little bit. And then Fractal Hack has our good, right, uh, our good pistol. Um... And then for mechs, let's draft Rebs and Jiradon. Rebs specifically will go to like there. Jiradon will go to like there. Jiradon's about to get shot by you guys for sure. We'll put Jiradon in a more advanced position. Trees are great cover, right, chat? Great cover. Last time I only wanted to take some of that sweet 420 weed. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. This is you, Mink. Uh, you're wearing a cloth flop hat. And you are a Neanderthal excavator. Also, Jeff is a framer. Construction 10. Fast learner and volatile. Shit, I don't know that I want any of you guys. Maybe Streamlabs, I guess. Uh, construction, Gourmand. Good with plants. Good with cooking. I think if any, we're going to take Streamlabs. Uh, may I see my stats? You're just an attacker, Rebecca. I don't know that you really have any stats. Um, like, a, like, like a character. Uh, not to be that guy, but you're just, you're just a robot. You're just a mini shotgun. Your health is fine. You don't have a bio, really. But you're an equal part of our, our our colony where both robots and humans definitely have an equal say. All of the humans get to vote. The 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 robots get the chance to lay down their li their lives for the humans. And that's and that's on Colt 420, Weedbot 69, Mech Overlord. Alright, Mink is uh, off to the races. Uridine, fuck him up. And Mink, you're dead. Okay, Jiradon, run. Uh, Jeff's, Jeff's coming, Jeff's coming. Rebs, run, Rebs. Rebs, run. Rebs, Rebs, run. Shit. <gasps> oh sevens in the chat for our good friend rebecca rebecca i have good news i have good news and i have bad news on the one hand uh you are dead hey listen on the other hand i can revive you give me like two days and i can bring you back from the dead perks of being a robot am i right it's just gonna be a couple days in the meantime How is Mink still alive? Mink has been shot in every... You are bleeding at 908% per day. 908% of your 
bodily fluids will leave your body per day. Your right arm just got clean shot off, and you are still trying to attack. You are very passionate about your cause. I can see that. Uh, Kenny, it's time for you to go attack. Melee. And public, it's time for you to go attack. And there, Ming's dead. All right, much better. Much better. That's ambition right there. She was just born. Was she really born, Matt? Was Rebecca really born? She's just a robot, you know? Born? I don't know that I'd be using that word. Jeff, uh, RIP to you as well. Um, and now it's just Streamlabs. Just Streamlabs holding out. Honestly, let's not kill Streamlabs, though. Here's the deal. Let's not kill Streamlabs. Let's stop shooting Streamlabs, and let's start... Uh, Letting the robots attack. Here down, get away. Tony, get away. Um, let the let the let the bots take him down. I think we have a chance of convincing them to join our colony. Kenny has also been knocked out. Ah, stop shooting. Are we going to tolerate this? I feel like Ryan isn't very appreciative of his robots. Unfortunately, I'm not sure that uh, you have much choice. Uh, good job, team. Everybody uh, pulled their weight equally, and some of us put our lives on the line a little bit more than the other ones. Uh, everybody's back to work. You're back to recharge. Rebecca, let's get you back to uh, back to life. Yeah. Make sure you're back to life. Oh, do forever. Do forever. I like being alive. Well, uh, we'll bring you back in a couple days. How's that sound? Good job, team. Good job. Re Rebecca, we're, th we're shoving your dead body inside of a... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop. Uh, go here. Take take her body into the mech gestator. Start restoring her body. Prison break. Who did it? Who fucking did it? Both of you? Mars was so close. I think this is going to fuck up his prisoner thing, too. People are leaving. This is not good. Want to get drafted? Come here. Fuck him up. Beat the shit out of him, please. Tony, beat the shit out of Brujo. Brujo is attacking after being harmed. It'll hunt any humanoid it will reach. It will calm down when it goes to sleep. Great, attack. Brujo has become a manhunter. Isn't this what happened last time? Uh, We should just melee attack. Melee attack. Mars is not... Oh, Mars is attempting to leave. He's digging at the wooden wall. You fucker! You go melee attack Mars as well? I guess we better get these robots back to... Back to helping, too. Go, melee attack. Who's firing? Stop firing! No! You're gonna kill him! Oh my god, Hans! Do not, do not fire at will, just melee attack. And you should... You should go melee attack, and Fractal Hack should probably go try and save Brujo's life. Cannot capture no un... Oh, you fucker. Ah! It's all gone to hell. Brujo, you make my life so complicated. Wait, why is our blind playthrough timer on? That's the wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Streamlabs. This is not a blind playthrough. This is the op opposite thing. Uh, all right, one second. Let me uh, turn that off. I think what we want to do here is Mars cannot be allowed to leave. 
Mars is very close to becoming a colonist. Brujo is not going to leave because Brujo is going to die in seven hours. So Fractal, who is our good doctor, should go capture Brujo. And then give them medicine quickly. Or maybe care. Um, you'll never take Mars alive? I sure hope to. Tony is trying to chase. What are you doing? What are you doing? Send the bots in? Draft. Go. Go. Shit. Mars is going to make a break for it. Hans is chasing. Jab is moving. Uh, Jab, I don't know what you should do, really, frankly. Arrest. Arrest. Mars. Oh, no. We're not going to catch him. God damn it. I would prison break, too. We have spent so much time getting Mars to, point Z to 0 0.8 resistance. Mars was literally a day away. Pony is moving a little bit slow because he's been hurt, so he's not going to make it. Hans is moving slow because he's been hurt, slash he's high. Dab, I should have probably sent you, but it's too late now. Fuck. Mars is fooling you all along. Mars has been nothing but trouble. All right, everybody gets undrafted. Damn, this sucks. Um, Fractal Hack, let's at least save Brujo. Uh, Tony, will you at least build this so that we have another building? Damn. TM Mars. I probably could have played that slightly differently. I probably could have had one of the different bots go after him. Goodbye, Mars. I'd be lying if I said you were anything other than absolutely a pain in my asshole. Brujo is no longer incapable of walking. You are going to make it? Oh, no, Brujo. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, Brujo lost his leg. Brujo full-on lost a whole leg. Right leg shot off. Because Hans shot you. Rough day for the colony? I mean, incredibly rough day for our prisoners. Incredibly rough day for our prisoners. Ne legs are really not that useful anyways, especially for Brujo, who is going to be a cook and a crafter. Give him a wooden leg? I thought those weren't that good. Are they good? That's going to be a screenshot. I got shot and recaptured, so Mars could escape <laughs> Oh, damn it. All right, well. This doesn't give us a good chance to move our uh, thing there. Which means we can, uh, be, we can reinstall this one here. Although we're probably actually going to want it in the middle. So that um, it does more rooms. Maybe now I won't be able to ever escape. I mean, your slow, your moving percentage is 36% right now. It may get a little bit better. You also have a gunshot in your head. You have lots of blood loss. You have an old gunshot in your torso. It's pretty fucked up. Fractal Hack is cleaning. Um, Kenny is going to the charger. Fractal, will you... Is there a way... Does anyone know if there is a way to guarantee that... Uh, that... Uh, that fractal hack will take care of his bots first. Like, I don't understand what the button would be for. Is it construction, technically? Fixing broken bots? I think I'm having to manually fix all the bots. Oh my god, I just clicked on an option. Did you know that you can permanently disassemble bots? Wow. That's my new threat. If one of you fuckers ever, ever talk shit to me again, 
You can install peg legs on your pr prisoners, then remove them. They can't prison break on. That's so fucked up. Brujo was a masochist. That's true. So that's a that's a, a positive, really, at the end. Um, Fractal, repair everybody, please. Repaired, repaired. So who needs repaired? Public is the one that needs repaired. Look at these dead bodies. God damn it. We got to move this shit. God damn it. The other thing I was thinking, what if we did this like here? I'll do like there. Yeah? Brujo got food poisoning. So Hans shot Brujo in the leg, then cooked him a bad fucking meal. That's that's ruthless. And oh my god, we gotta get rid of these corpses. Oh, we don't have a corpse place now. Oh shit, because of the uh, we don't have a uh, a corpse place now because we switched it around. Okay, so corpses are gonna go here. Uh, let's copy settings here. Uh, Shigar says, LOL, I watch a streamer who's afraid to swear on stream and getting banned from Twitch. Obviously not a concern for you. Uh, obviously not a concern for me. We have the, the channel marked as an adult channel. We also, uh, don't say any of the words that will get you banned from Twitch. Like, for instance, um, not a, not a super concern for me. Mostly because I, uh, I sure say the F word a lot, but I don't say the, uh, words that are real problematic. Or at least I try not to. I don't think I ever have. This is a Christian channel. Christian channel, by the way. Ryan, yell fuck right now. Megan, are you sleeping? Slash, can you hear the stream right now? I'm a little bit nervous that Megan is sleeping downstairs. I'm not going to yell it, but I will say it with lots of emphasis. Fuck. How about, how was that? Is that good? Meg's here. Fuck. Megan and I just played the penis game, and I won. That's the version I was hearing in my head. I'm playing Sims. I'm so happy for you. Extreme break risk. Hans, we got to fucking take care of your ass, dude. What's wrong? What's wrong? You're in pain. You've observed a corpse, which is a problem for our religion, and also just generally you're tired. Go to sleep. Recreation starved. I know, but I don't know what to do about that one. You have a nice bed. Go to your nice bed. The last day of winter, everybody. We could also start the stone fiesta. Hold up. That could be good, actually. 72% quality? Let's do it. Let's do it. Everybody's going to get stone, chat. Let's do it. This is the solution. Y'all have never heard of the penis game? The what game? Wait, people don't know it? The penis game is very simple. Uh, it was made up by second graders, I'm convinced. The penis game is, in a public place, you and whoever else is playing start saying the word penis, taking turns. And you win if you are the person who has said penis the loudest at the end of the game. So it's pretty simple. I would say penis. Megan would say penis. I would say penis. Megan would yell Penis! I would scream. I'm muted for that one because I didn't want to uh, hurt your eardrums more than I didn't want to offend you. Uh, that's the that's the penis game. Everybody's gonna get. St oh my god! What the fuck? They're raving. They're little movements. It's so good. That's so funny. Meg can confirm it was a loud penis. Oh, it's also it, that's right. It's in the it's in the game. Uh, Five Hundred Days of Summer. Yeah, it, it existed before Five Hundred Days of Summer for sure. We played it in like third grade. 